introducing first, making his way to the ring from Panama City, Florida, weighing 195 pounds, Cameron Kane. Making his way to the ring from the Grand Miracle Carnival Company. Weighing 201 pounds, Calvary Flower Chase Brown! Okay, wrestling fans, we're off to the races here with uh, Cauliflower Chase Brown versus Cameron Cade. And these two have started off hot and heavy, uh, th trading shots back and forth, forearm shots. Those real stiff forearm shots to the face by Chase Brown. Uh, for those of you who are just tuning in, Chase Brown was originally scheduled to wrestle. Wow, big shot by Chase Brown. Mm, another one. And a, just a smack in the face by Cameron Cade. Another one. He's over and over. I, I don't think, oh, big kick to the gut. I don't think uh, firing Chase Brown up is what Cameron Cade really wants. Uh, Cameron Cade holds on, big drop kick. Chase Brown, excuse me, misses the drop kick. Cameron Cade with a kick, goes for the cover. Chase Brown kicks out. As I was saying earlier, Chase Brown was originally scheduled to wrestle Davy Richards tonight. Uh, and we heard Chase Brown's frustrations with this. He said he's trained for months for his dream match. Davy Richards unable to be a big suplex by Chase Brown. Here comes another one. Mm, Tootie Bone suplex. Just uh, rocking Cameron Cade. As we can tell, Chase Brown has been training heavily. Uh, is he going to come out of the ring here? He looks like he's asking the crowd. Um, big drop kick since Cameron Cade sailing all the way back to the steps. Uh, as I was saying, you can tell by Chase Brown's appearance tonight. Big Chase Brown over the top rope. Uh, this is a no DQ match, fans. And as the, uh, as you can tell, there neither one of these guys are, have been worried since the opening bell. Neither one of these guys have been worried about getting disqualified. But Chase Brown taking Cameron Cade to the crowd and to the chairs. I'm hoping. I'm hoping both these guys can remain safe and remember that they've got they've got matches for the future to remember. Uh, Cage giving giving Brown some stiff shots, chops, forearms. Brown answering back, sends Cade back into the ring. This thing is wild from the get go, and um, you know it just you never know what's going to happen with this type of match. Uh, Pretty, pretty electric feel to the crowd here tonight. Uh, fitting that we're at Broad River Electric Auditorium. Another big suplex from Chase Brown. Uh, you know, Chase came in tonight. He said he's ready to, uh, to give it all he's got. And see, he has quite a history. For those of you who don't know, Chase has quite a history with Cameron Cade. These two have fought tooth and nail for going on a year now in Trans South Wrestling. And uh, Cade's career really took off around six or eight months ago when he affiliated himself with Tessa Blanchard and uh, the League of Intrigue. Chase, Chase taking Cade to the other chair across the ring there. Oh, throws him into that other folding chair. And you'll have to excuse me from my vantage point. I, they're on the far side of the ring for me. Chase has got him down by the stage there. Stomping away. The crowd is crowd is chanting for tables. Well, let's hope it doesn't. Let's hope it doesn't get to that point because uh, you know that that can be pretty dangerous. Now, now here you go, Chase. Well, I said that just as I said that. Chase brings Cameron Cade over to the table, goes to suplex him. Cade spins out of the suplex and answers back with some chops and forearms and looks like a closed fist punch, but that doesn't matter because it's a no DQ contest referees Tracy Jean Rash doing a good job following these guys around everywhere they go 
that Cameron Cade sends Cauliflower into the corner. Now Cauliflower's rocking, you know, and it, you know, he, he started out with all these suplexes. He may have spent a little too much energy in the beginning of this contest. Goes for a shot, Cade blocks it. Oh, God! A suplex of his own throws Cauliflower Brown back first and upside down into those corner turnbuckles. Folds him up like an accordion. There, Cauliflower, I don't know if it's his back, his back neck, or probably injured from that move there. Uh, we may need to get some help to ringside after that by itself. What a, what a, what a, what devastation for Cauliflower. But he kicks out on two. Tracy Jean Rash says two count. Crowd, the crowd working its way into a frenzy. It's, it seems like the the emotions have grown as the match has continued. Cade delivers some forearms to Cauliflower's back. Lays him back across that rope. Another big shot. Fires out across Broad River Electric Auditorium. And another. Oh, and another. A big one. That will... Cauliflower up. Cauliflower fires back with a couple of shots of his own. Forearm to the face. Cauliflower sends Cade. No! Cade reverses. Sends Cauliflower. Oh! Big forearm to the face. Now both guys are looking spent. You know, we're we're about seven minutes into this match and both guys have given it everything they had from the opening bell. And, you know, that's not always the smartest thing to do because in matches like these, when one, two, Mm, cauliflower kicks out in matches like these when you when you know that both guys could go the distance both guys have the endurance both guys have what it takes to go in these grueling long matches wow big suplex from Cameron K both guys have that endurance well then you it may not be the smartest move to spend all of your energy right from that opening bell but then some people may say the best thing is to strike first and strike often you know so it's it's your philosophy your psychology as a wrestler now Cade standing on Chase Brown whose throat is draped across that rope there's nothing Tracy Jean Rash can do except count the three because this is a no disqualification matchup the crowd crowd clapping and chanting for Chase Cauliflower Brown to get up big forearm to the face another one these guys are just these guys are just uh, brutalizing one another Cade sends Brown back into the corner Brown with two big boots to the face goes for it again Cade reverses since wow sends Brown's legs around through the rope and puts him on his back Cade may be taking a little too much time goes for the cover one two Brown kicks out. Two count, Tracy Jean Rash says. He's getting a little feedback from the fans there who are understandably excited with this big matchup. Boot to the face, just insult to energy, smacking, smacking Brown. Brown fires back. Cade, you would think Cameron Cade understands by now every time he insults Brown that way, Brown fires back. You know, he may be a glutton for punishment, but... Oh! But Cade answers back with a big clothesline and puts a stop to a, to Chase Brown and gives himself a little bit of time to recover. Cade goes over to Brown, makes the cover. One, two. No, still a two count. A little over nine minutes have gone by and that's no disqualification matchup. Tracy Rash... Asking both men. Cameron K grabs Chase Brown, Cauliflower Brown by the hair. Setting him up for what looks like a suplex. No! Chase Brown floats behind. Big belly to back from Chase Cauliflower Brown. He's fired up. Both of these guys are in excellent condition. Super duper punch to the face. No disqualification. Brown takes that arm. Ducks under, gives Cade some shots to the back. Cade answers back with some shots to the back for himself. 
Sends Brown in, into the turnbuckle. Brown goes up and over. Head scissors. Takes Colin, excuse me, takes Cameron Cade down. Cameron, Colin Flower, duck Cade's punch. Comes off that middle rope with a huge punch. One, two. Cade kicks out. That punch definitely rocks Cameron Cade. Cameron Cade doesn't look to know where he is right now. Cameron Cade reaching in the air. Cauliflower Brown grabs him up. Hoists him up into the air, just showing his own strength. Oh, and sends him right back down to the mat. One, two. Somehow Cade keeps going. Cade kicked out. We're about 11 minutes in now, and these guys are giving it everything they have. You know, these two guys have wrestled for about 11 minutes, and Brown setting him up with a half Nelson, now a full Nelson. Going for a full Nelson slam. Kate breaks it. Reverses. Brown fights to elbow his way out. Kate grabs the tights. Wow! Drives him down to the mat. That's got to be it. Two no, two count. Cade looks to be frustrated with Brown. I'm sure Brown's frustrated with Cade. What a matchup we're seeing here tonight at the Broad River Electric Auditorium in Gaffney, South Carolina. We'll return to this auditorium on November the 15th. For those of you watching this online, that's November 15th, 2014. Now Brown with a big knee to the gut. Goes into the ropes. A couple of misses. These guys are spent. Cade sends Brown back down to the mat. Two count. Two count. Good officiating by Tracy Jean Rash. He's, uh, he's stayed right on top of this thing with this kind of action. That's not an easy task. Big kick to the back of the head. Cade's known for those, for those insecurities. Uh, you know, he's got the kick pads on and Trust me, that's uh, to cushion himself, not the blow to his opponent. Cade goes up top. Brown sees him in time. He goes and uh, hits that rope there, sending sending Brown to, I mean, excuse me, sending Cade to uh, Soprano land. Cauliflower climbs, climbs up to the second rope, grabs Cade. Is this, could this be a superplex from the second rope? Cade fires back with some shots to the gut. Big headbutt sends Cauliflower Brown back down to the mat. Mm, another big punch to the head. Cauliflower Brown back up to, the, to that middle rope. Now he's going up. Yep, Cauliflower Brown up to that top rope. Wow, big superplex. That's it. Sends Cade sailing. Hard down into the middle of that ring. This ring provided by the Carolina's own Mr. Number One, George South. And anybody who's wrestled in this ring or anybody who's heard, heard or seen this ring live knows that this is one heck of a hard ring for somebody to land in with a with a blow like that, with a with a devastating move like that, a superplex off that top rope. Both guys come crashing down, both bodies, the way the two bodies comes crashing down. Both guys made their way back to their feet. They're firing back and forth. Oh, Brown goes to get some momentum from that rope. Cade follows him in, catches him in time, and it spits in his face. Insult to injury. What an attitude this Cade's got to have. And Brown, there you go. See, Brown clotheslined him right over that top rope. And they're now on the outside. Again, this is on the far side of the ring for me. I'm having a little trouble seeing. Brown brings him over, back over to the stage, walking up the steps onto that stage. The crowd, the crowd in, is in a frenzy. I don't know if you can, you can hear from your camera that, but uh, this crowd is, now Cade, 
Brown is threatening to suplex Kane off that stage. Let's, uh, oh, let's hope Tracy Rash can put a stop to this. Kane's blocking the suplex with some shots of his own. He's trying to suplex Brown. Brown, Brown blocks it. Brown with some shots to the gut. Oh, Brown's got Cade up. Looks like for a body slam. Cade slips behind him. Shots to the back. This is this is uh, in dangerous, dangerous territory here. I'm a little bit, uh, you know, I, a little bit worried for both the, the safety of both these men. Cade, Cade looks like he's going for a power driver. He's threatening the power. He tells the crowd he's threatening the power drive Brown. Brown gets out of it. Brown going for a power driver himself. Let's hope this doesn't happen on this steel. Excuse me, on this uh, wooden wooden stage. Both men look to be getting exhausted. We're we're about 16 minutes in. Both these men exhausted. Shots back and forth to the face. That one rocked Cauliflower right there. Cauliflower goes down. Cade giving him those boots to the head. Cade trying to force Cauliflower off the stage, onto the floor. Cauliflower hanging on. What else can he do? And Cade with some vicious shots to the head and back of Cauliflower Brown. Cade putting Cauliflower back in position for that pile driver. Goes for the pile driver. Kate Brown blocks it. Oh, and, oh! Brown backdrops Kate on that hard wooden stage. Hmm. Kate is going to feel that one tomorrow. Well, I say that about that, but both these guys are going to be feeling this entire match tomorrow. Uh, this is this is just. Uh, you know, a grueling type match, and Kate answers back with a low blow. Well, it is a no disqualification. We're at, we're way past, well past the 17 minute mark. Oh God! Fans, Kate just threw Cauliflower Brown off that stage and threw a table. Fans are worried. I'm worried. Uh, we got to get some help. I see another referee coming out. Fans are rushing back. Security guard Keith Vincent uh, hold, holding the fans back. Fans call for Brown's not moving down there. This is, uh, I mean, he just came sailing off of that stage and threw a wooden table, which is on the floor there. Not only... Is he going, not only did Cauliflower Brown come crashing down through a wooden table to a concrete floor, he didn't do it from from standing level. He did it from a, I don't know, that's probably about a five or six foot stage. So he's up in the air and comes crashing down through a table onto a concrete floor. Cauliflower Brown is in trouble. And now Cade, now, uh, Cade is attempting to, it appears that Cade is attempting to get that count out. Uh, it appears that Cade is attempting to let Cauliflower Brown be counted out and get the win that way, but with this be, being a no disqualification matchup, I don't think Tracy's rash, the referee is gonna allow it. Chase Brown tells Tracy Rash he's okay. Tracy Rash is is willing to is willing to make the call, babe, you know, at, at Cauliflower Brown's discretion, I guess. Cauliflower Brown struggling to work his way back to that ring. If this doesn't show you how tough Cauliflower Brown is, I don't know what will. I mean, Cauliflower Brown is. You got to give it to him, win or lose. This guy has the heart and determination of a hundred men. One, two. And somehow, Cauliflower Brown kicks out. Cauliflower Brown had the guts, had the fortitude to climb back, crawl across that concrete floor and back into that ring, make his way back into the ring. And if that weren't enough, he had what it took to kick out. When Cameron Cade went for that cover, Cameron Cade 
irate with shots to the back. Oh, the big DDT! Kicks to the back and then a big DDT. One, two. And Cauliflower Brown kicks out again. How is he doing it? Fans, I can't explain it. Tracy Jean Rash, the referee, can't explain it. Cameron Cade is in disbelief. We're well past the 20-minute mark. What is it going to take to put either one of these guys down? And, I mean, uh, you know, Cauliflower Brown's just... I mean, who knows what's going through his head. He's here to win. You can say that. Oh, and a nasty landing. And Cauliflower Brown gut wrenches Cameron Cade and gives it. Get, how is he doing this? And two, two German suplexes. How is Cauliflower Brown doing this? How does he have the strength? Uh, I mean, he has to be in grueling pain. Another one. Three of them. This for for cauliflower's brown for cauliflower for cauliflower brown's back. Oh, and another one. That's four in a row for his back to have endured everything it's endured, and then for him to deliver these suplexes just doesn't make sense. Cauliflower Brown. He doesn't make sense. He doesn't. Another one. What is that? Five German suplexes. Cauliflower Brown defies sense. Six of them. This is this is unbelievable. And Cade kicks out. Now there you go. Say what you want about Cameron Cade. His tactics may not may not be agreeable. I was trying to hear what Tracy Jean Rash was telling both men, but you may not agree with the tactics and the attitude of Cameron Cade, but he's here to win it. He kicks out. He's taking a lot of punishment as well. I'd have to say, one, two, he's got the tights. Brown kicks out even, even though Cade had the tights. I, I don't know what it's going to take for either one of these guys. Oh, big boot to the face. That's got to be it. One, two, and no. Fans. I don't know what it's going to take. Cameron Kane doesn't know what's going to, what it's going to take. Cauliflower Brown will not be pinned to that mat. He refuses. He's, I'd say he's definitely taken the brunt of the punishment of this match. You know, he's definitely, he's definitely, if nothing, Cade misses a punch. Brown catches him. A big belly to back. How is he doing it? We do not know. One, two, three. That did it. How Cauliflower Brown has continued through this match, I can't explain it. He took, he took such punishment, including a fall off that stage, through that table, onto that concrete floor. But as you see right there, Tracy Jean Rash raises his arm. Cauliflower Brown. Your winner of this no DQ contest at Trans South Wrestling. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you again at Broad River Electric Auditorium in Gaffney right here on November 15th. And it's already been announced that two WWE Hall of Famers will be here with us when we return. Hardcore legend Mick Foley will be here as well as Boogie Woogie Man, Handsome Jimmy Valiant, all that and more when we return to Broad River Electric Auditorium. Between now and then, you'll be able to see Trans South Wrestling in Union, South Carolina at the Union County Fairgrounds September 6th, October 17th, and November 1st. Chase Brown congratulating with, or getting congratulations from the fans. Guys, what a night. What a night tonight. And there's still a lot more to come. Thank you for joining us.